not to say that every decision a military court makes is flawed, but this one certainly was. Oklahoma Attorney General Mike Hunter calling a full pardon by President Donald Trump the right move. The Commander-in-Chief has granted executive clemency to former Army First Lieutenant Michael Behenna. He was convicted back in 2009 for killing an Iraqi prisoner. The evidence, again, uh, in a holistic way, uh, wasn't reviewed, I think, in a, in a clear-eyed, fair way by the tribunal. Lieutenant Behenna was trying to take care of his troops, trying to protect his men. Behenna says in a statement, quote, I thank President Trump for his tremendous act of mercy. He was convicted of unpremeditated murder in a combat zone after killing suspected al-Qaeda detainee Ali Mansour. Prosecutors had alleged Behenna shot and killed Mansour in retaliation for an attack which killed two of Behenna's fellow soldiers. He was accused of taking Mansour to a remote desert location, stripping him naked and shooting him. Behenna insisted it was self-defense, claiming he was afraid Mansoor would take his gun. A military court sentenced him to 25 years, but when doubts were raised about the case, the Army paroled him after serving five years. I mean, I haven't had time to really think today. You know, today's just been overwhelming. That was Behenna in 2014 when he was reunited with his family in Oklahoma. Hugging your son when he's free um, is probably 180 degrees from when they handcuffed them and took them away. Now, the ACLU's national headquarters took to Twitter today criticizing the full pardon, saying in part, quote, military leaders, including Trump as commander in chief, should prevent war crimes, not endorse or excuse them. In response, Hunter calls that remark disappointing. He claims it ignores review of the trial and case itself.